times a day at the least. Oh, and Mr. One Up pointing out the bottom right of the map. He he really wants to note this bottom right of the map. Uh, there's a base here, and there's a base here. We'll we'll see what happens. There is an Overlord moving down, and I'm wondering if he's calling that he's going to be sending some Marines down there to intercept that Overlord. Would be pretty. That would be good game sense, I should say. It would be very good game sense. Now, Devourer has gone for a 15 hatch, pretty standard. This is Core Hall Compound. Some of you may not recognize the map. It's still a very new ladder map, which means that the game, excuse me, is, of course, from Season 6. So, mules not returning a whole lot via the gold, or at least no more than normal. Of course, it doesn't matter because there are no golds on this map. Ghosts with their snipe nerf, uh, slash buff slash nerf. Slash depends on who you ask. So, if we do get into Broodlords and Ultras, we likely won't be seeing a ghost counter to the game. And a bit of a Reaper expand actually going in here in a very early bunker being dropped down. Wow, with this 15 hatch, this could be uh, a <laughs> dropping an extractor, making sure that his opponent can't go that 1 1 1 build that is liked by so many players, especially against Zerg. I hear that it's pretty good. So we are going to have a Reaper move out here straight to the bunker. However, with the hatchery popping, the bunker has been spotted, and that is a lot of drones pulled. However, that's completely appropriate for what I would say. SV could get started on a bunker back here, but instead is going to take a bunch of acid spits to the face and die as SCVs are wont to do when they take acid spits to the face, even turning to a little bit of ash there. I think the drones acid spit. No, they don't. They actually take, they, they chew with their mouth, or their, their little claws, their little droney claws. So this Reaper coming in might be able to do some damage, some harass, but a couple of Zerglings coming out here. The Queen is about to pop, and oh, isn't that going to be a welcome surprise? As the drones are pulled back, and the Reaper says, you know what, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go out. A second Reaper out on the field and a second barracks sound so we're not going to be seeing 111 uh, it might have been a little bit gas starved with the reapers coming out but you may have been able to still squeeze the banshee out but no we are seeing two more barracks come down and stem being researched so could be an early stem push we're gonna have to wait and see Every, everything here, huh, I was a little surprised to see, wait a sec, there's a spot of yellow just kind of sitting in here, and actually the factory was dropped right before that extractor died, so Devourer was on the mark, he may have, actually, yeah, he, he could have seen that easily, very easily. Reactor going down here, so we're going to have quite a bit of a an infantry production, might see... Mm, factory is not going to be swapped otherwise it would have been built much closer as a mule appears from nowhere and <laughs> lands in that mineral line right in front of the screen. I do like that both players continuing to, to push up their macro. Oh three reapers moving in here could kite the queen for a little bit but instead are just probably just going to hop off the cliff. Might be able to still put on some pressure and some harass there at least until the zerglings uh, get their wings which isn't too far from here at all. Roach Warren is down and Roaches are out on the field, so that'll really defend easily against those Reapers. Reapers, which are already back at the, the watchtower, just holding, chilling, taking it easy. And 1-Up builds himself a, starting his wall, the Great Wall of Terran. Man, just pumping out. He is mashing that A key. He is checking the A key to make sure it is working fully. Reapers are not going to be happy to find that there are roaches out on the field here. Oh, one of them slipping away that very, very small two health. But two is greater than zero, which means you're not dead. Looks like we'll just see, I guess, marine dropship play coming in here. I'm not sure the factory, as soon as combat... Uh, shields finishes. Factory might take over the tech lab and go into marine tank play. Otherwise, I'm not sure what's going to be going on here. And the Devourer is moving out with some roaches, which could be very effective against the marines if there were more of them. If finally the Zerglings moving out too, 
And yes, these Marines are going to stem, rush forward, even without combat shields. They are more than happy to engage this, even picking off some Zerglings, taking out almost all of the Roaches. Oh, but coming in, they need to run fast, fast, fast. Their stem wears off. And they're going to get surrounded pretty readily and go ahead and die. They'll take some forces with them. Oh, and this is a very, very dicey moment. Four, one up. Only a few Marines behind the wall. SCVs pulled up immediately to repair, however, with so many Banelings. Banelings doing 80 versus the structures. There it is. Banelings deal 80 damage to the structure. There's 400. He needs no, he needs more than just that. Supply depots don't quite fall, and the repairs do go onto them. Marines shooting to supply. Here, they need to explode. They need, come on, Banelings. No, detonate. Hit the supply depots. Oh, terrible control by Devourer. His Banelings exploding. They are finally busting down that wall. But the Marines are there to recreate it with their own bodies. Wow, some poor control by Devourer really costing him more than he needs. Resources lost almost double when he could have flooded in and then brought some Banelings from behind to really take out these Marines and just ended the game right there. Said he's only morphing the four Banelings and he really needs more than just four. Oh, and two medevacs worth of Marines heading out, rallied all the way up. Ooh, right next to the Overlord. Devourer decides to go ahead and call off the attack. Now, Bailing's speed is not being researched, and that's probably because there's not even a lair up. Devourer seems to be lacking a fair bit in the drone count. We are going to watch these drops come in. One up is also moving out with his ground forces along the way. They do now have combat shields. And unfortunately, these medevacs not nearby when these marines are caught off guard by zerglings. It's just kind of, oh. Oh, sorry guys. We'll heal this one. Yeah, we'll heal you. There's Now the drop is going down into the mineral line. And the harvester count... Ford Devourer was already low. He was sitting at about 35 when you want maybe 45 or 50 when you're on two base. But even getting lower, now down to 26 to 55 SCVs of his opponent. Great positioning here by one up to heal his Marines. Eventually, though, the medevacs do run out of energy. At that point, they can only lift up one Marine. Some more Banelings being morphed to help deal with that. And so just a few drones being produced, really, plus this queen with the extra energy, thinning off the one single drop marine here, but could could drop a creep tumor to help segue this area and then may even help with larva injects on both ends. Now tanks are out, siege tech has just begun. And Devourer saying GG. But, but not leaving the game. I mean, I don't think he knows that he's at half his opponent's supply. Uh, that that would be that would Im encourage GG. Uh, that was interesting. Game still seems fully on though. And I'm not leaving this replay until it is finished. We do have the lair finally up. Bailing speed still not being researched. And this mineral line looking pretty good. Up to 40 harvesters. A second gas would be really good, especially if you want to push the lair attack. And there we go, up to the 44 drones. With 1-1 one, one on the way for those zergling banelings. Fortunately, not so great when you have tanks that do have siege tech. I like this positioning for 1-up, spreading out his tanks so they cover all of the the engage points uh, all he's really missing is from, from this side but a barracks here and a barracks here and a bunker and you are set man oh even spotting a zergling there catching a zergling there saying yep I am set on all the ends oh, a little drop coming in here trying to focus down the third base for devourer and that would be really painful to keep your opponent or to keep be kept on two base. Another drop coming in on the back here, and great position. The Zergling's not moving around, even sending drones to attack. Oh, crucial mistake. Ooh, and that medevac slipped out with six health. Man, you drop that right here, call down a mule to repair that sucker. That has six marines, and that is one very valuable medevac.
The one up. Really sitting comfortable. He's on three bases and he knows his opponent is. He's probably, yep, he has the, the Reapers over here to scout for a fourth. Great shot there. You could have just, you know, pot shotting some drones as they come over nearby. And you have your opponent, man, Devourer is so paranoid about, um, about drops. And rightfully so. Marines stem in here. A little bit of a heads up check for any nearby forces. When these two Marines are taken out right away. It, oh! Snatched up into the healthy Matavac. An excellent choice. And now here comes the death blow. What looks like could be one up just finishing this. Really sort of just toying with his opponent. 185 supply to 78. More drop coming into the back of the natural here. Forcing more of a low drone count. Still being kept to that 41. Which when you're on three base is far too low. Queen getting picked off there. Ooh, maybe could pick up some of the Marines. Nope, they are going to fight to the very end. There's another drop going right back into the mineral line. Like the choice spine crawler there. So the drops are now being handled pretty readily. However, what do you do when your third gets destroyed by 58 Marines and 8 tanks? Or something along the lines. Nearly thus. Six tanks and probably about 35 Marines. And then one up, I guess playing it safe, just waiting for the rest of his army back home. Counterattack being attempted by Devourer. He could slip into this side and do some damage to the mineral line, but uh, the only problem is that's his entire army. Uh, he still, does he have Baneling Speed? Yes, he did get Baneling Speed, and he is going up from the Hive. I'm not sure why. A Spire finally on the way. He could really use some Mutilus before he tries to go for Broodlords. Or even investors would be a pretty good call. Now the backstep here, very effective. The counterattack, pushing out all the mining workers, and even might cause a cancel on this command center. Nope, not quite going to do it. Only problem is you're still down 110. Oh, whoops, killing your own tank there. But you're still down 110-ish supply, about 100 supply from your opponent. Ah, devour. 49 drones, now you're sitting, you're getting comfy, you're, you're doing great macro. That's really been the bane this whole time, is he's either been on two base with, or three base with not enough, or two base with almost too much. This is finally getting to a comfortable point for him, but he's just not producing. Oh, one-ups macro heavily slipping as he begins to just continue to get upgrades. And if I were going into Corruptor, I'm not sure he's sitting, he has the 44 Zerglings, Nice and bunched up. He did get the passenger glance with the investor. At this point, I feel like I'm critiquing more than I'm... Oh! Snipe coming out, getting those investors. Devourer saying, I had you anyway. Yeah, sure you did, dude. Sure you did. Your 100 less supply. Not quite. It was only lucky and you know it. Yep, complete and total luck, I'm sure. As your opponent is maxed out and you don't even have triple digits. Some good fungals going down, some banelings moving in, ooh, really crushing those marines. With a staggered tank fire and then marines coming into the map. Uh, Devourer says re, he wants to replay, so I guess these two played another game after. And that's going to be the GG right there, and the same map. Devourer really just, uh, he got picked apart by a few drops, he didn't really drone up well in the beginning, and that, that just set him behind the entire way. His opponent had some great SCVs, really macroed up well. Lost, lost his macro at the end, but it didn't matter because you were just crushing your opponent. You were one a your way in. So this has been a random little replay pack game, a Masters level Terran. Sometimes not always the super big, awesome Grandmasters. I like to look at other uh, players, the, the more normal players at times. Of course, I say that as Masters, the still top percentile of the game. But it still is fun to watch. It's fun to see how the metagame shifts, how different players react to different strategies, what different strategies they choose. I hope you had as much fun as I did watching it, and I will see you. Hello, hello everybody, this is Icelian bringing you yet another StarCraft 1 vs 1, so much fun to watch. Today we are going to be checking out a little bit of a practice game between the player I up, although I know that he actually means one up because he's a crafty little speller person there. So I'm going to go ahead and call him one up. His opponent is going to be Devourer C, because apparently Devourers A and B were taken. Take uh, this is going to be a, I presume it's either a practice match, or it's a, either 
that, or it could be in a tournament match. Um, I note that because this character, this player, Devourer C, as the yellow Zerg, well, yellow doesn't show up in ladder matches, uh, not in 1v1 at least. This is obviously 1v1, so if it were ladder, Devourer C would likely be red. Um, I did get this off of a replay pack from 1UP. He said, I am a Masters ranked Terran. And so I figured, okay, it, this is probably not Devourer's game. I mean, it, it is, he is in the game, so it is his game, but it's probably not his submission. Uh, I got this from reddit.com r cast it. For anybody who wants to go cast their own games or if they want to watch cast games,